If you're an online business owner, chances are that you do a lot of virtual meetings every week. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I use AI to get the most out of my virtual meetings. And not only will this solve all of the time-consuming common problems that come with virtual meetings, like taking notes or coming up with action items or deliverables and scheduling, but later in this video, I'm also gonna share with you a secret that if you follow what I am sharing with you today can actually increase revenue coming into your business. First, to help you you determine what the best tool is to record your meetings, I'm going to compare four AI transcription tools. I'm going to look at Zoom, so their transcription and AI companion. I'm going to look at TLDV, Fireflies AI, and Fathom AI Note Taker. And my number one criteria when it comes to using these tools, frankly, any AI tool is, will this add more work to my current workflow or will this make my life easier? If it's easier, I'm asking myself, how can I set it up as easy as possible so that it is not intrusive to my existing workflow, like it's happening in the background. It's also a total waste of time if I have to go back through the recording of calls to take notes and come up with action items or deliverables. It's also a total waste of time for if you have somebody on your team doing that. So the AI tool that I'm using with my virtual meetings needs to be able to take great and accurate detailed notes, give me a summary of the, the call, give me a list of action items and and deliverables from the meeting. And hopefully, I shouldn't have to mention this, but have it be accurate. So let's look at Zoom AI first. Most of us use Zoom for our calls, which makes it very convenient. I am in the AI companion section of Zoom, and then I can just click on the meeting summary and then choose whichever meeting that I want to grab the summary and action items from. So the summary is actually pretty good. It's what I like most about Zoom's AI companion. Does it fulfill fill my criteria, meaning does this make my life easier? Yes, it absolutely does. Now, can I set this up super easily so that it doesn't make my workflow any harder? Absolutely. I actually don't have to set it up at all. I just, you know, tell it to, okay, yes, let's use the AI companion for my calls. And it does it automatically. It just starts automatically when you jump on your virtual meetings. So the summary is really good. As you can see here, it breaks it up into different sections of uh, your discussion discussions that you're talking about. I will, and it gives you a quick recap at the top. I will say that the next steps is not very accurate. It tends to hallucinate quite a bit, which is super frustrating. So I don't love that. I do like the summary. I do like how easy it is since it just turns on automatically when you start your calls. And that's a setting, by the way. Now with the transcription, the thing of it is, is you have to be recording the call. Now it sounds kind of obvious, but I tend to forget to hit that record button in Zoom all the time. So if I forget to do that, sure, I have the AI summary, which is great, but I don't get the transcript or the recording of the call. So you have to remember to do that, which is kind of a pain, but you have to add it to your workflow. And if you do remember to click record, you have to record it to the cloud and not your computer in order to get the transcription. So there's a few steps there that you have to remember and get right every time in order to get the transcription. Now the transcription, if you do get it is pretty good. The other thing I like about Zoom is they just introduced this scheduler. Uh, now I say they just introduced that when I'm recording this video, it is the early part of June 2024. This scheduler just came out. It's very similar to like Calendly. It's $6 a month that they would add on to your monthly Zoom, which for me, by the way, is like $16, which is really inexpensive. And it works, like I said, very similar to, Zoom, to Calendly in that you just send a, a link out to people and they find a time on your calendar. So I do like the ease and flexibility and convenience of having the scheduler right in uh, Zoom. And it would save me a few dollars a month because Calendly is like $10 a month. So overall, I like Zoom's AI companion. As long as you remember to hit that record button and you're recording your meetings in the cloud, you will get the transcription. And the AI companion also gives you a really good summary. I'm not super psyched about the next steps because it, it tends to, number one, not be very accurate. And number two, it does hallucinate a bit, adding next steps that weren't really there. The next tool that I've looked at 
to help with my virtual meetings is Firefly's AI. Now, I use Firefly's AI early 2023, so really early on in the whole AI boom, if you will. Firefly's was one of the first tools on the scene, if you will. I liked it back then. Now that I have a lot more of a choice when it comes to these AI tools for virtual meetings, I don't like it as much, to be honest with you. So we're looking at Firefly's here on the screen. Overview is pretty good. The action steps are pretty good. It's pretty detailed. It didn't hallucinate in any way, but the notes and summary are not very good. Like they, it doesn't go into much detail at all. And for out of the box for what you're paying for it, which is about $19 a month, I wasn't super psyched with the result that it gave me. I do like the transcript in that I don't have to remember to hit record in Zoom in order to get the transcript. The transcript is really accurate. It breaks it up by the person speaking and uh, timestamps, copying and pasting the transcript is really easy, which I like. And you can also do this Ask Fred, which is basically ChatGPT within Fireflies for an additional $5 a month. When I've used Ask Fred, I didn't think it did a really thorough job. And it also, also only gives you 50 credits per month. So if you do a lot of calls and you're using Ask Fred in Fireflies, it's going to increase your monthly calls because you're going to be going through the credits pretty quickly. So overall, I'm not super psyched about Fireflies. So for $23 a month, which is $18 a month per user plus $5 add on per month to be able to use that Ask Fred feature, $23 a month, it, it, it's not fulfilling exactly what I want in helping me make my virtual meetings a lot easier. It's not fitting my criteria of does this make my life easier or is this adding to my workflow? And and I think for what Fireflies is giving me, it's not worth it. The next tool called TLDV is something I've actually been using for several months now. And I'll show you here in just a second, but I had a whole zap set up so that when there was a new transcription happen, a new call happening, ChatGPT would summarize it, give me everything I'm looking for that I've mentioned in this video here, a call summary, action items, deliverables, and then it sent it over to a Slack channel. It was great until all these tools started coming out with the AI functionality that they they now have, which made me needing to do that zap in Zapier obsolete, which is great because it removed a step. In terms of does this fit my criteria, TLV does in a sense of it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't necessarily add to my workflow a whole lot. It has a shortcut, if you will. So up at the top here of my screen, you can see this little semicolon. I can just click that and I can click start recording. It's not automatic, although I think you can set it up to be automatic. I don't remember 100%, but it's pretty easy to be able to do. As we're looking at the screen here, the summary that it gives is pretty good. It's not super thorough because I just did this meeting the other day and it for sure was a lot more in depth. So I felt like the summary and the notes that TLDV takes is okay, but it could be better. I definitely think it's better than Firefly's AI. Next steps that it gives. So if you can click on next steps here, it's pretty good. There were definitely more next steps from that that call, which I wish that it would have captured, but it captured these four. So then you can go to the other tabs here, general information, ideas that came out of the call, which I don't super find valuable, but it could be. And then it also gives you open questions. So all that is pretty good. The other thing too, I can click on transcript over here and the the transcript is, is really good. And it's very easy to copy and paste in that I can just click this little button right here. And bonus for TLDV, it does record the video of your call, which you can create clips from. So I can go down here and click on create a clip, which would be helpful if I want to grab a clip and make it something for social media or what have you. Now it is $25 a month, which I think for this type of tool is a little bit expensive, especially now that Zoom has the AI companion. You get it as part of your $16 a month membership with Zoom. So TLDV is good. I I would say out of the tools I've looked at so far between Zoom and Fireflies, I would say it's probably second after Zoom, but much better next steps than Zoom. So if I could combine the two tools even better, but I would be using Zoom simply because this is an extra step outside of my workflow, whereas Zoom just starts automatically and I don't have to worry about it. Then the final tool is Fathom and Fathom is a tool that I tested out last year in 2023 and then recently came back to it as I was testing
using more of these virtual meeting AI tools. I will say that last year in 2023, I wasn't a big fan of it. I felt like it was a little bit confusing to use. The free version of it is fairly limited on what it would do, and especially for the length of the calls that it would record. So you can use it for free and it will do a good job in terms of transcribing and it's very easy to add to your calls. So it definitely fits the criteria that I have set out for myself when it comes to using an AI tool. It does not make my life harder. It does not add more to my plate. Once you've downloaded uh, Fathom, it is up here in the your toolbar and you can just say add to your meeting. Also, once you've downloaded Fathom and you start a Zoom call, it will it will show up there and ask you to if you want it to join the call. So there's it's just one click and it joins. The summary that it gives you, as you can see here on the screen, is really, really good. It also gives you the timestamp of where that summary discussion is beginning. So I really like that. You can copy the summary. The transcript is really good. It has the video also in here, which is really, really nice. And the other thing I really like about Fathom too is that there's a link here. I've already clicked it, but it says click for to create or find action items from the call. The action items were spot on. It's really good, very accurate, no hallucinating. And all the information that I want is right here. Now I am paying for Fathom. It's like $19 a month. And the reason that I'm paying for it is I wanted the next level of AI tools within, you know, when I do a call. So for me, it is worth it. You also need to pay for the $19 a month in order to use it with like Zapier or Make. So if I wanted to add to what I'm looking for from calls in any way, it's easy to do that. I don't love paying $19 a month for it, but for the level of improvement that this gives me over the $15 I'm paying for or $16 I'm paying for Zoom and the AI companion and the level of summary and next steps that it's giving me in Zoom, I like Fathom much better. And I'm willing to pay for that because it's going to make my work less when it comes to meeting follow-up and giving me the summary of the transcript and the action items all in one place. So for me, of the four tools that I have talked about today, Zoom, TLDV, Fireflies, and now Fathom. Fathom for me is my favorite tool. It does not add to my workflow in any way, and it makes my job a lot easier and just sort of seamlessly runs in the background when I'm having all of my calls. I can also connect this to my Slack and have all this information sent over to a specific Slack channel so that if I'm having a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with somebody, I can get the overview right after that with a summary and the action items, take a look at it, make any kind of edits, and then shoot it right off to my client. So it makes it super, super easy. When you're doing your virtual calls, number one, make sure that you get the transcription of your call. So this is how you can add potential additional revenue to your business using the types of things that we're talking about here today. What I recommend that you do is you build yourself a knowledge base, whether it's a Google Drive folder, Notion database, whatever it is, start storing your transcripts into a knowledge base. And from all of those transcripts that you are compiling, and you can automate that, by the way, so that when you're done a call, it automatically gets kicked into a Google Drive folder, for example, you're building a knowledge base of all of this amazing information that you are sharing on your virtual meetings so that then you could potentially use all that information to create an online course. You could use it as content for a membership if you are writing a book. So as long as it's not proprietary or anything like that, build yourself a knowledge base, use a tool like Cassidy, or you can do it with uh, ChatGBT, build knowledge base, and now you have an amazing library of content to create offers from. All right, again, so the AI tool that is supercharging my virtual meetings, the best for me is Fathom's AI note taker. It's inexpensive. It checks all the boxes for me and just makes my life way, way easier. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.